The ZAC Film Festival is taking place in the French Alps this week. It's where industry professionals across Europe and beyond come together to showcase work and to find collaborators. But for some, Brexit is hindering the process, as Angela Barnes reports. This the setting for the Les Arc Film Festival, where production talent, known and unknown, are gathered to showcase new projects in the hope of securing funding and partnerships. For those with ideas, the industry village part of the event gives them a platform where they can screen and discuss them. That what, what I find it interesting is that more and more co-productions are taking place and countries are working together to make films together, but also to get the films distributed outside of their own countries, which is what we want um, to happen. The event has attracted more than 500 professionals this year, and organisers say it's going from strength to strength. While the talent gatherings have been taking place across several locations in the resort, this being one of them, and the producers have come here not to just try and win the prize money that's up for grabs to fund their films, but they say more importantly, to meet the right people to work with. This British film producer and Russian director had their film shortlisted and presented it at the festival. They're looking for European producers to work with so they can pull together resources available from different countries. But Brexit is making it difficult. Well, I think the thing is that everybody's just quite uncertain about how things are going to work out. So even though, I mean, this is a, a gorgeous festival and everyone's really positive about the creative of the projects, I think there's a little bit of nervousness about committing to a UK co-production without knowing what, what the industry is going to look like after Brexit. Producers have access to public money in the country they are from, but working with co-producers from other countries means more access to their public money and there are tax incentives in different countries too. And if you can pull together those resources, you can have a bigger budget for your independent film and make something even more exciting and wonderful, which is obviously what we would love to do. Concerns over Brexit addressed at many of the presentations, but there is also hope a solution can be found. You know, the, the Brits need us. I'm talking about films and filmmakers, and we need the Brits. So, uh, so I hope that even with the Brexit, if it happens, somehow we will find a way between, you know, Europeans, I mean, United Union, European Parliament and whatever, and, you know, the British community, so we can really still be connected. Despite the challenges ahead, it's hoped the festival will continue to surface new talent and that more co-productions will keep European cinema on the ascent.